Welcome back. There is another question in which we have been asked to find for the rectangular area of figure shown determine movement of inertia Ix of the area with respect to centroidal x-axis and corresponding radius of gyration. So you can see this is a rectangular cross sectional area having height is 6 inch clear and width is 4 inch and this is the neutral axis passing through centroid O and that is X. So we have to find the moment of inertia Ix with respect to this centroidal axis. So let's start with the given data. So it is given that this is rectangular area clear having height is equal to 6 inch and width B is equal to 4 inch inch clear so we have to find in part a we have to find the moment of inertia which is ix with respect to centroidal x-axis and in part b we have been asked to find the radius of gyration which is represented as rx so let's solve it as we know that moment of inertia moment of inertia for rectangular cross section is given by formula ix about this x-axis is equal to 1 over 12 b h q clear because this neutral x is passing through centroid so we will not use plus ad square so we will simply use this formula so now you have the value 1 over 12, B is 4 inch there and 6, height is 6. So it's 1 over 12, 4, 6 into 6 square, 6 cube. So it will be equal to 4 multiplied by 6 cube is 216 divided by 12. And when you calculate it, it will be equal to 864 divided by 12 so ix will be equal to 72 and that will be 72 inch power 4 so this is your moment of inertia for about uh, centroidal x, x axis now we'll move towards our second part and in second part we have been asked to find the radius of gyration so we know that moment of inertia about x axis is equal to rx square radius of gyration square multiplied by the area so from here you we are interested to find out rx so rx square is equal to ix divided by a so rx square moment of inertia about centroidal axis is 1 over 12 b into h cube divided by area for, for this rectangular cross section will be equal to b into h so we will put the value b into h so you can see b will cut with this and h will cut with this so it will be h square over 12 so if you further simplify rx square is equal to h square over 12 and from here if you take the square root on both side so rx square is equal to under root h square over 12 
so it will give you rx only and we will have h square over under root 12 so from this you will get h over under root 12 so this is the formula for radius of gyration about centroidal x axis and that is h over under root 12 now you have h h is 6 inch clear so 6 divided by under root 12 will give you we have to find it 6 divided by under root 12 will be equal to 1.73 inch so radius of gyration is equal to 1.73 inch so this is the answer of our part b i hope you have enjoyed this video again if you are uh, confused or you are there are uh, some question in your mind so you can ask me in comment section those who are new to my channel then subscribe it now and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video thank you for watching